What's up guys, Graham here. I want to do a little bit of a real life episode since you guys seem to enjoy it a little bit. We'll see how much this uh, seems to touch to you guys' interest. But um, basically, I am trying to figure out how to uh, record uh, mobile games on the computer. Now there's so many different programs and stuff that will do this, but they ha all have their flaws. Um, there was one that I downloaded that I actually like paid a couple of dollars for and it ended up not recording audio or anything and uh, became a big hassle and then there was another one that I downloaded that it didn't cost anything but I'm still having trouble getting the audio uh, transferred over. So um, I kind of started looking up things, well I've been looking up things for hours and eventually I came to the realization that maybe I need an auxiliary cable. So I'm making a trip to Walmart right now. I'm going to try to uh, pick up this cable and hook it up on the computer and see how that goes. Now mind you, it's like midnight right now. I'm so obsessed with getting these cables that I don't care. I drove all the way to Walmart to get them anyway. And man, I'm so, I'm so obsessed with getting this stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's right. Now to see if it was a wasted trip or not. See if this actually works. Alright, so we're home now. We want to uh, try to get this hooked up. So this is the actual cable that I ended up getting. It's a six foot cable, um, 3.5 mm auxiliary, um, mm, I'm not too sure what that means, but I'm sure anybody tech savvy will probably be able to clue me in on it. Um, but hopefully we can get this all lined out to where I can actually get audio from my mobile device. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys. I'm mostly doing it on my uh, mobile phone right now, but I do have a very nice uh, tablet that is a Samsung, like one of the latest tablets out from Samsung. So I would like to be able to take that gameplay footage that I do, such as the new game that I've been playing called Evil Bane, and make it to where it will project onto my computer screen and also have the audio because right now there's so many things that can project the the screen capture over to my desktop but it's not bringing the audio and i don't really want to try to like take the tablet and hold it up against a microphone or anything like that it's it's just it would be ridiculous it would be really bad quality and not something that i would ever want to do i want to uh, provide better quality than that so let's get this puppy opened up and try to get it hooked up real fast All right, so we got it hooked up right now. I'm not too sure if the audio and everything is going to actually work. I'm going to uh, record a little bit of footage of this actual gameplay and see how it sounds once I play it back. I think the sound is working. Let's see here. I might need to turn it up or down. Uh, I'm not too sure what the volume levels are uh, best at. Oh, we got a working volume here. Perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. All right, let's try not to lose this match. Oh, not cool. Not cool. Oh, that's a new one to me. Okay. Time to break bad on you. Oh, okay, got him. All right, so the volume should be pretty 
Good. Can you guys hear it, I wonder? Is that too loud? It's hard for me to say. I don't know. I don't know. It'll take some uh, trial and error of, uh, you know, recording and seeing how loud my voice is compared to the volume of the game. So, okay, we'll, we'll turn it down while I'm talking right now. So it looks like this is a good venture here. We actually succeeded in what we were wanting to do. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit of insight into exactly how this all took place. Uh, I mentioned a little bit of it before, maybe multiple times, but I didn't really go into detail. So I'll go ahead and uh, tell you guys exactly how I came to the finished product and the processes that I went through. Okay, so to start off with, I knew that I wanted to uh, mirror what was going on on my phone or tablet onto the computer screen so I can actually record these games uh, that I'm playing on mobile and possibly make videos and guides and stuff like that because a lot of these games are extremely fun. Now, there is a program that most people use called BlueStacks and uh, that is a very good program. The problem is, is that you control it with your mouse and if you actually play a mobile game, game that takes like normally whenever you're playing on your phone or something you're using both thumbs if it actually takes more than one control at a time and if you guys seen whenever I was playing uh, Evil Bane you will see that there is like a joystick on the left side and you have to control it with your left thumb or whatever and then on the right side you have your abilities that are on a cooldown so you basically are controlling with your left hand and using cooldowns with your right hand so something like blue stacks would not be appropriate for this type of game and I wanted to make it to where I don't run into those kind of problems whenever I'm playing mobile games where I go okay I can't do it with blue stacks I got to find other options so I'd rather just do this option every time and not have any of the issues okay so uh, I went ahead and looked up other programs besides BlueStacks and there was one that was highly recommended on the websites that I've seen and that was this visor one here and uh, the problem with this program is that it actually you know it's a program that's trying to make money and that's not a bad thing. I don't have problem paying for particular programs if they are they're giving me the product that I want. Uh, Blue Stacks costs two dollars a month or something like that, and I've always paid the two dollars a month. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I was actually recording uh, Clash of Clans gameplay and stuff in the past. So whenever Visor wanted two dollars you know i didn't have a problem giving it to them the uh the way that they get you to pay for it is that they start you off at this really crappy quality right here which is 500 kilobytes per second which they label it as fast connection but low quality and in order to go up any you got to buy the full version of this particular program or the professional version so to say and I went ahead and paid the two dollars well afterwards I realized that it wasn't transferring the audio to my particular uh, recording software that I was wanting to use in order to play this game and record it for videos so it got me looking for other programs in order to try to accomplish this job and that's whenever I came upon this particular program here called Mobizen which is spelled M-O-B-I-Z-E-N and uh, yeah, it gave me the maximum quality for exactly what I was wanting without any cost at all. It's a completely free program. And so I went ahead and got it and tried it out. And I loved it, but I was still back to square one whenever it came to no audio on my desktop. And uh, uh, like I tried to look up guides and stuff, but all pretty much all of them were saying to uh, download all these programs and stuff in order to make it work. Um, but one of them did mention to go get an uh, auxiliary cable. So naturally, you guys see me go to Walmart and get the auxiliary cable. And whenever I came home, I went ahead and looked up and exactly uh, what exactly I needed to do. And uh, I didn't really find a specific guide on exactly what I needed to do. But I figured it out myself. And I'll go ahead and show you guys. So if you go down to the bottom right side of your screen and uh, right click on your speaker button here. And go to playback devices. It will pop this up here. 
And uh, what you want to do is you want to go to recording because you're wanting the sound to go into your computer. And then uh, pick whichever particular uh, jack you put uh, your auxiliary cable into from your phone. And I put it on one of the front ones on my computer, so it was uh, this one in particular. All I had to do was right click it, go to properties. And uh, you'll see all the information about it and it says the front panel jack, which is what I used. I went to listen and I clicked on listen to this device. And that's what makes it to where my computer is actually going to receive that uh, device. Even if I'm, uh, you might have stuff hooked up to your computer, but you can uh, deselect this usually and your computer won't pick up those unless you are wanting them to it's an easy way to separate particular microphones and stuff to where uh, you know on different channels and stuff like that so I went ahead and clicked and turned this on and automatically I had sound on the recordings I had sound and I was so ecstatic uh, the reason why I was so ecstatic is because I've been working at this for a while and running into so many problems. Uh, like most technology, it seems like, uh, you, it, like it might say install this program and uh, you can use it for this. Well, whenever you install it and try to use it, you realize that it's not working how you want it to. You start going to all the troubleshooting forums and all that stuff and yeah. Now, uh, very few things are seeming to work right and uh, like it, it's frustrating I remember watching a Chelsea Handler uh, show on Netflix where she was talking about technology and everything she was doing nothing was working the way that it was supposed to be so and it, it you know a lot of it is lack of knowledge of technology but a lot of it is technology does not work the way that it's supposed to so yeah, that's what I was kind of running into with this situation too. I was having to try to figure out what exactly could work and none of the guides or anything was extremely helpful, put it that way. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, quite a bit of real life stuff here and the processes that I went through in order to provide the uh, gameplay footage that you guys will most likely see in the future. Uh, like... Uh, of course, I'm going to actually blow up this particular gameplay to where it'll be bigger behind me and stuff and uh, to where it'll be much better quality rather than a little screen uh, on my desktop or something like that. Uh, I just did that for testing purposes and you guys got to be with me th uh, through all that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, my name is Grim and I'm going to bed.